Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. What happened here? Well, it's actually not my fault. Uh, it's not my problem, but I think we can make something good out of it. So these are some crashed pods. Uh, actually, I don't know why they crash. Uh, well, what's the story behind these crashes? Because my landing was flawless, I think. But I found one of these before, and this is the second one I found. Um, so basically, there are some debris spread out, there are some minor resources, but out here, there's actually a different type of pod, or crash part. And I hope I will find a hard drive in this one, because in the first one, I could just open it, and then there was a hard drive, and uh, I could do some research. I would get back to that later when I'm at the base. Now when I open, it says repairs needed, battery broken, needs 20 megawatt hours and four steel beams. So I can't, can't do anything right now. So let's craft a few beams and hook up some power. I don't think I can do this while I'm in the water, so I need to swim back. Quite a slow swimmer. So let's see, I have a power over there, and i out here in the middle of nowhere, but I'll show you exactly why in a second. So let's take one pole here, and then hook it up. And then, what did you say? Four, four, four steel beams, right? One, two, three, four. Did you hear that? Hmm. Nothing. Sounds like something got shut down. Is it possible to swim down? I can't be able to, don't seem to be able to. All right, let's see if we can open. Operational, great. And we have another hard drive. Great. Now we can just leave it here. So now let's go and we disconnect this and I'll take my truck and go all the way over to the oil wells. You can see I have a waypoint in that direction. So let's go over there. Or drive over there. So here's the first one I found, and this one was open, uh, didn't need any repairs or anything, so I could just utilize or take the stuff directly. And now we're almost there. So the oil well are oil wells are roughly 2,000 meters from from my base. Uh, I don't know if this is the best way to set up the transfer, but. It's what I'll use for now. So let's go over here. We have just a track station here and... Actually, I don't think I need this. I set this up as a temporary uh, as a test to see if I could... Not that one. Here. Oh no, 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 no. Stupid bugs. Okay, so it actually seems like I can I can make the way here and back again with uh, one load from one load of coal. That's hundred hundred coal. So I don't need to have a coal refilling station here as well. But the oil wells are here. The the truck will only drive to the station. The tractor or the truck. I haven't built the truck. Uh, yet, I don't have this tractor. And here we have oil wells. 
And as you can see, we have one over there, one here, and one over there. So three wells. And they are very fast. They have all are pure, and they will output so many resources, and these normal normal conveyor belts can't keep up at all. So this uh, will need to be rebuilt with better material later, or a double one, or a triple one. It doesn't really matter right now because I can't I can't utilize it yet. I'm just placing everything here, so let's load up and go back. And I'll fast forward so you don't have to wait. I'm not sure if the road I made is the best one or the straightest one, but I think it's quite good and 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 let's see, unloading. And so far, uh, I think it was a good way for driving at least because it's uh, some of the other ways were very narrow and hard to hard to maneuver in. But okay, we got some. We've got plenty of crude oil. We have uh, will have this filled up in no time. I will set that up to be automatic, but not just yet. I'll prepare it though, and of course I could have an, an oil power plant. Oil, what are they called? The oil oil gener oil. I don't even have one. Okay, so later I could have some oil generators up and running uh, over there. But to find the way, these are actually quite convenient because I would have got lost a few times otherwise. Okay, so the brand new platform. Uh, it's awfully big. It's higher up. I should have started to build high up. You know my first videos, I started down there. I can remove this. I started down there because I had no idea how big a factory you would need. And... Uh, now it seems like you should probably start at higher grounds so you can expand it more easily. So these things I built up here were those that were previously in, uh, in the slope. But at least now they have some flat ground to be on. And moved some smelters up here. I need to reconfigure a few more details like this one. This is a splitter and it's standing still for some reason. I think I'm full. Um, so they should never be standing still. That's bad because and that's the reason because that constructor or as an assembler is filled up and I have no storage behind it. I started to add that in various places like here. So we're filling these up and I made these just because I didn't want to overfill it from the beginning. But eventually I don't want to be limited or, in, in, or basically ever stand still. Okay, so what was the hard drive all about? Let's talk about that. Uh, regarding the milestones, I haven't completed these. Oh, now I get it. Okay, so these ones are done, we are at tier 6, this is the current one, we'll get jetpacks, gas pack, mask and everything. But we need some heavy modular frame line setup and I will do that off cam. But the hard drives, now comes the fun part, I did some research. Uh, yellow power slug. I guess it's very similar to the green power slug. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into two power shards that function with current fix-it technology. 
several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Great. So now let's put the new hard drive I found in here. Begin analysis. And the previous hard drive I did, uh, let's see, X, and we can see hard drive analyzed. analyzed. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. And what I got from that was the thing I found here. So tier 2, 3. This is the one I unlocked before from the first hard drive. An alternate recipe for heavy modular frame. Only using quick wire and rubber instead of uh, let's see no heavy instead of uh, model frames steel pipes industrial beam and screws so perhaps we can make a simpler setup using the alternate recipe recipe we'll see and now we also unlocked the yellow shard to to make a power shard that we already could, but now it's from the yellow, so we just need to unlock this. We'll do that after this one is done. I don't know if these uh, material will disappear. I don't know. It's not critical at this point. I have plenty of stuff to do anyway. So now we're getting more, and I will. Before this episode is ended, I'll cut to the end and uh, I'll show you how it looks when you get an alternate recipe. And basically I'm trying to I will reorganize this move everything up here as I said uh, and have the the floor level up here instead so everything will be moved up I will have those lines are still not in use from the from the last previous episode where we have trucks driving I haven't had time basically but here's something that I did build you remember I had we're not using so much of biofuel these days. But I still get leaves and wood in my storage every now and then. So uh, I, rem I moved my previous setup that was here somewhere, I think, to make fuel into this. So now we have one house. The constructors are in here. And we have just three storage containers that we need to care about. Wood goes into this one. I don't have any... Yeah, I have wood. And the green stuff goes into here. And I will get my biofuel in this one. So complete building with one purpose. Making... Well, by making biofuel. So more convenient. I guess we'll have more setups like this later on. Where you just have one entry and then you... You get your stuff basically. All right, so nothing new except for that. Let's jump to the end where the where we had the analyzing part finished. Okay, so now let's see if we are done. Great. So the hard drive was analyzed. This means that we can now get another alternate blueprint so normal modular frames circuit boards or encased I don't know let's just take one and uh, this will be I mean I will find more hard drives and eventually we'll have all unlocked so the only thing I need to do now is to research. They will probably end up... Here's the circuit board. So this one will cost me rubber and wire to unlock. So, so this means that these ones will expand as we go on. One tier is finished. Well, it's not finished until it's really finished, until you unlocked all the alternate recipes. 
Okay, I think I have lots of stuff to do here before we go into the next episode. Then I should have my... I don't know what we'll have up and running. We'll see what we have up and running then. I hope we have oil power at least, but because now we have the oil, we can probably soon make rubber. I just need to fix the factory line for modular frames and computers. And that is circuit boards and plastic. Yep. I have a lot of stuff to do. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching and bye-bye.